gentleman like that? I've got to admit to being very surprised to what I've heard, particularly for the last 45 minutes. Uh, the reason I came here tonight, and I would imagine most people came here tonight, is because they're very much against the fracking, they're very much against the transportation of hundreds of trucks, they're very much against 400 flares around the fire coast. And what I've heard for 45 minutes is basically a discussion or, 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 or a dictation from you and your notes about regulation. And I'm not, at this point in time, wanting regulation. I don't want fracking. And your position, see, it's a very unusual position to be in, to be addressing all these meetings. And I have got a, a technical question for you. But it seems to me you're looking for a position here. Because your knowledge is obviously extremely good. You, you do know your stuff. I've read some of your papers last night on the internet. But what you've come and done is present the case for someone to head up a, a, a regulation body, which I suspect you might feel you might be the man to do that and have some involvement. And my principal reason for being here tonight, and I bet I'm speaking for everyone else in this, in this room, is we don't want it full stop. And, to, and we, don't, right, we don't want to get into a position where what you're doing is negotiating into a middle ground of a regulatory body when you're actually saying, no, we don't want it. And as soon as you stray into the area of saying, well, we don't want it, but if it's regulated, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. okay well, I think well, that's it, quite entitled to your opinion on that. And I see a lot of people agree, and that's perfectly fair or not. My position actually is, is entirely independent, by the way. I'm not got any link with the deck or and I don't have any offer of any job but my position is that basically I live here I actually know what it can do if it goes on unregulated mm. personally I think whether you like it or not it's going to happen and as it's going to happen I would like it to be regulated see you can't say that no uh, well, that's, you, no, that's your opinion and to say to let me just finish because you, what you're saying is whether we like it or not well we don't like it no. and the point you the points you're making about a regulation it deters people from taking the stance of, no, we don't want it, into, well, in the middle ground, we'll take it with some heavy duty regulation from the government. Can and I we take a point as a, just a member of the public who's had an experience for this lot coming onto my land, trespassing, I've got lawyers on it. The problem is that it's not as simple as just saying no, because it's already, the, the truck has left the, the depot, as it were. So I agree with you, we yeah. don't want it, absolutely don't want it, but the problem is what Mike's putting across is, to get this banned, we've got to argue very intelligently, because they're not listening to us just saying, we don't want it, it's too late, the, the government has granted a license. Yeah. To the only way you're going to get anywhere with this, with this job is through the politicians. Unless you're getting a voice in Parliament through Mark Menzies and through your councils. There's more questions to be asked. Yeah, well, he'll avoid it. I've seen a letter from Mark Menzies and he's taken a very much a government He's in Parliament, it's Monday. He's in Parliament. He actually sent me, his office manager and secretary, as his representative. So, Kelly, do I have no expertise at all in shale gas? got anything you want to pass on to Mark, I'll be here when the meeting finishes. Uh, Parliament's in session, I'm sure you all know, Monday to Thursday, the Parliament's in session, that's where he's got to be. Can I just give a technical question, which I think is a scary thing about this drill. Yeah, to be fair, the is low. Yeah, I do, I understand that. The, the wells that they drilled that created the earthquakes, what was so special about those wells that the earthquakes occurred? Was there something special, or is it just an event that okay, it was, there was only one well that caused the earthquake, that was Priestall Farm, because they'd only fracked one well, Priestall Farm. And the reason it caused the earthquake is because they were pumping into a fault. They didn't know the fault was there. Why? The old seismic data, the 2D data that came from the British Gas, now Centrica, dates from the early 80s. It doesn't and cannot show where all the fault lines are. The 3D data cannot show necessarily where all the fault lines are, but it shows a hell of a lot more. So they'll know in future, if they do any more uh, fracking, if they're allowed to continue fracking, they'll know where the faults are, and they won't pump into a fault, and therefore they won't cause a tremor. Right, right now, right now, they came onto our land, to our house the other day, and they have no idea where the fault is. That's why they're 